Welcome back to our channel. Before we dive into today's topic, let's make sure you're fully connected with us. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. This way, you won't miss out on any of our future content. And if you find our videos helpful, don't forget to smash that like button. It helps us reach more people who might benefit from our content. All right, ready to explore how to find happiness in solitude? Let's get started. Ever puzzled over why some people are so at ease with solitude, while others grapple with it? It's all about perspective. Today, we're plunging into six practical steps to master the art of being alone. Step one, put the comparison game on pause. We're wired to measure our lives against others, yet bear in mind, you're only seeing the best bits, not the full story. The number of friends or social outings you have doesn't define happiness. It's all about discovering what suits you best. Step two, discover and nurture your interests and passions. Utilize this solitary time to delve into new pastimes, acquire fresh skills, or immerse yourself deeper into the things you already adore. When you're engrossed in activities that bring you delight, solitude becomes an option, not a burden. Step three, engage in self-care. Attend to your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Give priority to activities that replenish your body and mind, for instance, working out, meditating, reading, or taking leisurely walks nature. Step four, foster significant connections. Being at ease with solitude doesn't signify complete isolation. It's crucial to maintain a support network of dependable friends and relatives who you can rely on for companionship or assistance. Step five, recognize the allure in solitude. Make time to value the tranquility and serenity that accompany solitude. Use this occasion to introspect, rejuvenate, and reestablish a connection with yourself. Step six, cultivate gratitude. Concentrate on the favorable aspects of solitude, like the liberty to do as you please at your pace without having to take into account others' preferences. Be appreciative of the possibilities that solitude presents for individual growth and self-realization. Remember, Mastering the art of being alone is a journey. It might require time and persistence, but with these six steps, you can not only learn to appreciate solitude, but also find satisfaction and accomplishment in it. Step two, imagine a world without the constant buzz of social media. Sounds peaceful, right? If the never ending stream of posts and updates leaves you feeling stressed or left out, it's time for a little experiment. Try taking a 48-hour break from your digital feeds. If you experience a shift towards positivity, think about capping your daily social media time to just 10 to 15 minutes. Step three, have you ever tried disconnecting from your phone? It's indeed a challenge in a world where we're perpetually connected. But let me tell you, the reward is experiencing a moment of true solitude. What do you say we give it a shot? Turn off your phone for one full hour. Use this time to reconnect with yourself, make a list of activities you might enjoy doing alone, and don't hesitate to give them a try. Take a moment, just be. In the whirlwind of everyday routines, we seldom allow ourselves to just do nothing. Set aside a moment for contemplation. No distractions, television, music, internet, podcasts, or books. Just allow your mind to wander and see where it takes you. Ever considered taking yourself out on a date? It might seem odd, but it's a fantastic method to relish your own company. This could be a fancy dinner, an exciting movie, or a peaceful walk in the park. Essentially, it's about treating yourself to an experience you'd typically reserve for a significant other. If budget is a concern, remember that treating yourself can be a lot cheaper. Let's start small, like spending 10 minutes in a coffee shop, and build from there. It's an interesting journey to embark on, so let's see where it leads us. Step six engage in movement exercise doesn't just benefit your body it's a wellness practice for your mind too it releases endorphins brain chemicals that induce a sense of well-being initiate with a few minutes of stretching each morning and gradually escalate your activity step eight embrace the journey of self-discovery whether it's through painting writing cooking or strumming a guitar finding what truly resonates with you is the key to enjoying your solitude Perfection isn't the goal, rather it's about celebrating your unique individuality and finding joy in expression. 
So, take hold of that paintbrush, guitar, or spatula, and let your uniqueness shine. Remember, the beauty of creativity is in the process, not the final product. It's about the journey, not the destination. So, embrace mistakes. They're merely stepping stones leading you toward. And now, before we proceed to our summary, if you're finding value in this video, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for your support. To summarize, Finding happiness in solitude involves a shift in perspective. Stop comparing yourself to others. Take a step back from social media. Give yourself a phone-free hour. Allow your mind to wander. Take yourself out on a date and incorporate physical activity into your routine. Remember, it's about finding what works for you. Embrace the journey of self-discovery and celebrate the unique individual you are.